Andrea had been playing with her children when she was bitten on her finger. At first she thought it was a midgy bite, but the pain became unbearable. She had been bitten by one of these, a false widow spider, which was carrying a flesh-eating bug. Doctors told Andrea she was just hours from death. The pain was something like I've never ever been through in my life. And by the time I got to hospital, all my finger was burst open. Um, and there was pus, it was black, it was changing colour. It was in a right mess. And also, I had a red mark tracking up to me, well, it was at my armpit by the time I got to hospital. And that's when the told us if I would have been two hours later, I'd have been dead. Within an hour of arriving here at Sunderland's Royal Hospital, Andrea was rushed into surgery as doctors tried to stop the poison spreading from her hand up her arm. She spent 10 weeks in hospital and underwent 14 separate operations before doctors told her they could not save her finger. Despite Andrea's injuries, experts say the false widow is not considered dangerous. Experts stress her problems were caused not by the spider's bite, but by the flesh-eating bug it passed on. The bite that it gives is, is mainly uh, defensive, so it's not coming out to get you, it's not a horror movie. There's a greater chance of, of dying of wasp sting or a bee sting than this, but it's very uncomfortable and the swelling can become the size of a tennis ball. Andrea's a hairdresser and says she doubts she'll ever work again. But as she recovers at home, she still believes she's been very lucky. I feel as though it's a small price to pay just to the loss of a finger because I could have lost my life, really. So. Stuart Wincup, BBC Look North, see him.